Join me on a journey as I challenge myself to break free from the trauma bond and liberate myself from narcissistic abuse. Trauma bonding is a term that's often misunderstood, but it's a crucial concept to grasp, especially when it comes to narcissistic abuse. At its core, trauma bonding refers to the strong emotional connection that forms between two individuals, often in the context of an abusive relationship. When we're in a relationship with someone who's narcissistic, they often use manipulation, gaslighting, and control to keep us tied to them. This can create a trauma bond, which is an intense emotional connection that's rooted in fear, obligation, and a deep-seated need for validation. This bond can be incredibly difficult to break, but it's essential to understand how it forms if we want to free ourselves from its grasp. The trauma bond is formed when we're subjected to cycles of abuse, followed by periods of calm or even affection. This can create a sense of anticipation, where we become hypervigilant, always waiting for the other shoe to drop. This anticipation can trigger a release of chemicals in our brain, which can actually strengthen the bond between us and our abuser. It's a twisted dynamic where we become emotionally invested in the relationship, even though it's harming us deeply. As we navigate this toxic dance, we may find ourselves feeling a strong sense of loyalty or obligation to our abuser. We might even convince ourselves that we need them or that we're responsible for their happiness. This is a classic symptom of the trauma bond, and it's what keeps us stuck in the cycle of abuse. The trauma bond can also have a profound impact on our sense of self-worth. When we're constantly being belittled, criticized, or manipulated, we can start to doubt our own perceptions, memories, and even our sanity. This erosion of self-confidence can make it even harder to break free from the bond, as we may feel like we're not worthy of a healthier, happier life. Manipulation is a hallmark of narcissistic abuse, and it's a key factor in the formation of the trauma bond. Our abuser might use guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or emotional blackmail to control us, making us feel like we're walking on eggshells around them. They might even use charm and charisma to lure us in, making us feel special or unique only to dash our hopes and expectations when it suits them. Gaslighting is another tactic that's commonly used in narcissistic abuse. This is when our abuser denies previous agreements, conversations, or events, making us question our own memory or sanity. It's a powerful way to exert control, leaving us feeling lost, confused, and disoriented. The trauma bond can also be reinforced through control. Our abuser might dictate what we wear, who we see, or what we do, making us feel like we're living in a constant state of surveillance. They might even use technology to monitor our movements, track our activities, or intercept our communications. Breaking free from the trauma bond requires a deep understanding of its dynamics and a willingness to challenge our own thought patterns. The first step is to acknowledge the abuse and recognize the ways in which we've been manipulated, gaslighted, or controlled. This can be a painful process, but it's essential if we want to reclaim our sense of self and our emotional well-being. Setting boundaries is a crucial part of breaking free from the trauma bond. This might involve limiting our contact with our abuser or establishing clear guidelines for what's acceptable and what's not. It can be scary to assert ourselves, but it's a vital step in reclaiming our power and our autonomy. Seeking therapy or counseling can also be incredibly helpful in breaking free from the trauma bond. A trained therapist can provide a safe, non-judgmental space to explore our feelings, work through our trauma, and develop coping strategies for dealing with the aftermath of abuse. Practicing self-care is another essential component of breaking free from the trauma bond. This might involve taking time for ourselves, engaging in activities that bring us joy, or simply learning to love and accept ourselves for who we are. It's a process that requires patience, kindness, and compassion, but it's one that can lead to profound healing and growth. Recognizing and overcoming trauma bonding is a crucial step in reclaiming our sense of self and our emotional well-being. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that's worth taking. We deserve to live a life that's free from fear, manipulation, and control, and we deserve to find happiness, joy, and fulfillment on our own terms. Thanks for joining me on this journey of breaking free from the trauma bond. If you've experienced narcissistic abuse, I want to hear from you. Share your story, share your struggles, and share your triumphs in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on healing from abuse, and let's support each other on this path to recovery and empowerment.